if the previous video is not quite sufficient to make sure your PA 4.0 is doing the right thing, uh, you can try this alternatively. Download Polly's PA 4.0's bytecode. So Polly has already finished her PA 4 and compiled it into a bytecode. And it's available over here at this URL. You need to log into the workstation and download that file to your account. And that can be done by doing curl again, but this time you'll be downloading the PA4 bytecode. Let me copy this line so that it's easier for me just pasting the terminal when we're doing demonstration. So make sure that you push it uh, to a separate file. Uh, let's call it the Polly's PA4 for now. Now, after you do that curl, you will see a new file being added to your directory. Um, you can't quite just uh, execute it yet. Um, another thing you need to do is to change the permission. So chmod here allows you to change the permission of uh, the file. And what you need to change is to add executable write to the user, which is you. And once you've done that, Polly's PA4 is not an executable file. Therefore, you could call and directly execute it. This paragraph is just to explain again uh, Polly's PA4 bytecode there is going to sit down port 11 999 so that uh, it does not conflict with you guys' server uh, running also on the workstation. Good, so let's move to the demo mode. And um, let me just walk you through how to do the curling and changing the permission. So let me paste that line. Great. And um, make sure that you set it go to unpolys PA4 here. Otherwise, it's going to display the bytecode on your screen. Uh, it's going to take a while and it's going to be messy. So uh, direct it to a file. Okay, now you could use a different file name. Now we've seen uh, PA2 PA, uh, poly2, uh, poly, poly2, no sorry, uh, I do, I actually want it to be poly's PA4, poly's PA4, there we go. And that should create, yeah, this file here. But again, you see here the user's permissions accessing the file does not have the executable right. So if you just simply try to execute it like this, uh, no, you're, get, you're gonna get this message from the operating system, permission denied. So make sure you do change mode, user, adding the writable permission, and then Polly's PA for the file name. That should give us the permission to execute and there we go. Launching the server. Now, testing again. So, yeah, I'm doing the client on my local machine, and the server is on the workstation. So, I'll have to use go run PA3. Yeah, this version. Daco. Is it working? Yeah, it's taking a bit time. There we go. Um, so that's uh, upload server 102.go. And there we go. File size is 572. Uh, and the whatever text file should be 656. Let's see if the whatever dot text is created. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is created and the size is 656. If we show the content, you see, yeah, server 102. Yeah, this is the calling server 102, launching server. And for each line, you see, uh, right there. Yeah, the line count is prepended to the line all the way till the end. And there are 31 lines in server 102.go. All right, so that's the walkthrough for um, doing the bytecode download and testing. Let's go to uh, the browser again and uh, finish the rest of uh, the testing. All right.
Now, occasionally, but chance is very low. Okay, chance is very low that uh, two or more team might be simultaneously trying to run poly spike call. In that case, you will still have the conflict. Sorry, yeah, because. PA4 is always running on 11999 if both of you trying to execute PA4. Whichever executed first will be occupying 11999. Yeah, that the other team that is slightly late then will have the poor conflict problem. Yep. So there are two ways to resolve the issue. First, yeah, uh, the late team there. Give it a bit time, because once uh, the previous team finished testing, then the, the port 11999 will be released. Okay, so solution number two. Yeah, chance is also very high that the process that's running on 1199 is some of the team starting PA4. So why don't you just go ahead and try uh, and by pro uh, starting your PA3 go. That should also work and you should see PA4 uh, working. But I'm not quite sure if uh, um, the result, whatever the server is writing out, is going to show on your screen though. Okay. So yep, uh, that's about testing. And this is the end of uh, video number five.